Afternoon everybody, uh, welcome to another update. This is the new trends page which is um, quite exciting. It's something I've wanted to to work on for a while just to show the sort of actuals and the occurrence uh, stats for certain teams and certain markets. So um, similar to the new XG page, you've got this menu at the top, um, a, t a title. It's all pretty simple really, but it'll let you delve into another category and get more um, more detail actually because on this overview page what happens um, is the stats emerge for some of the markets so for the strong home teams I'll go through them the strong home teams here you've got a list of home teams um, and it's showing the home form and it's ranked by the percentage of games that they've won so this team has won 10 out of 11 home games um, and this little icon means I've already set an alert on this so one of the things that I wanted to to do for this page and it's it's the reason it took a, probably a day or so longer than I thought it would. Um, is I wanted to allow the users to create alerts quickly because it's contextual, isn't it? You're not you already know that these are strong home teams, so you already know the the kind of alert you're going to set, which is going to be for a home win. If you want to set another alert or check the stats, you can always click on the name and it'll take you straight to the fixture. Um, but let's say Viking are here they've they've won nine out of ten. 1.29 for the win at home. I'm just going to click this button and this little prompt comes up and it says when odds hit, um, well, let's just say 1.80. We save that. And once you save it, you'll see that this game now has this um, green bell icon. And if I refresh this page, as many people will, many people will come back to this page because it's always, it's always live, it's always updating, so if new odds get released, um, the, a game will drop onto this page that's happening in the next sort of five to seven days. Um, and one of the key things I wanted to do was avoid people setting the same alerts. Um, so now it will remember that you've set an alert from this page. Um, so you might have set another alert on, on that game. And if it isn't BTTS, and if it isn't uh, this specific alert, then this icon won't appear. So... That's good, because because I found myself whilst I was developing this, uh, coming back to it and seeing the same games and thinking, have I actually set an alert on that one? Um, so these are the, the overview pages, and uh, you'll see that you've got your titles at the top, so draws here. Um, and then on any of these tables, what you can do um, is view the full stat, and it'll take you to the individual page for that market. So let's look at over 2.5 goals, and it'll take you to the page. And in the same way, it's got tables now, um, but you have home teams, away teams, and overall teams. So what the home teams is looking at is home teams where this has happened, and it's ranking it by that occurrence. So Morton Bay United, who are playing on Saturday, 11 out of 11 home games have seen whatever the stat is that you're looking at. In this case, it's over 2.5 goals. For the away teams, 11 out of 11 for, for this team. And um, again, you know, similar to the XG page, you've got these little pagination items so you can just scan through these and um, click on the games that you like was that Leeds United no it wasn't um, and the overall teams it, it merges the stats as well so you can see here 19 out of 22 1.75 um, I used this page I shared it on uh, this game on discord yesterday it was from the English uh, non-league I can't even remember the team Stamford or something um, and the odds are 1.53, but the occurrence was like 22 out of 23 games, so it's actually a, a good bet, that. Um, and it, it ended 2-2. So, I mean, yeah, this this page has, has uh, been quite valuable already for me. Um, over one point, uh, sorry, over 0 0.5 first half goals is here, and um, I think this is going to be popular because you just see these, these occurrences here. Um, Rosenborg, 10 out of 10. And even if you look at the overall for this for this list... 16 out of 16, 14, 14, um, 1 1.5, that is high, these two teams must be first against second or something I would assume. At Greenton Stanley, 18 out of 19, again this overall table combines everything. Um, and for any of these games, the bell means that the odds aren't there, but it's the same sort of thing, if you click it, it'll just um, it'll just go to this little alert prompt. and. You can um, try and put in a lower odd and it won't work, so it's, you know, it's, it's quite smart in that way. Um, and another thing that is going to launch as well, this is going to be for pro users until the weekend because I'm, I'm going to be working on something else for it. Um, and that is an automated summary that gets sent to every pro user every day um, with a sort of little 
summary of, of, of this um, because these are you know potentially valuable games and and it's and it's looking quite far ahead into the future. You can see we've got games here for Sunday. Um, this team's won eight out of ten. The odds are two point five. You know, will that drop before Sunday? Probably, um, as more people come to do their research and find these games. Um, so it's going to be a very valuable page in in that sense as well, just because you can look into the future and see the odds. Um, BTTS, I'll just show you. Um, it works in the same way. We've got home teams, got away teams, and we've got overall teams. You can see I've got an alert set on this one already. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be good, and and obviously, as always, open to um, to feedback on this. Um, I'm excited to see how you use it and, and the sort of feedback that comes in. Um, and I try, I want to try and do a few more pages like this. I've got a couple more ideas. There's a rivalries page coming, which will list all the rivalries and, and the upcoming rivalries. That's a bit more for fun than anything serious. Um, and uh, yeah, as I say, stay tuned to uh, Twitter and Discord for the automated uh, summaries that will go direct to your Telegram. Um, and uh, that, that's pretty much it for this update, but it's, 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 it's a pretty big one. I think trends could lead into some interesting areas and... You know, this little um, component that's been created, I want to try and put that in different places on the site. It'd be very interesting if it was on the probability page, for example. Um, yeah, maybe it can be activated via a stat scroller as well when you click on the odds. There's, there's a lot of um, ideas that, that this trends page has created, and this was just meant to be a, a one or two day project, and um, it's, it's turned out well. Um, so yeah, with that said, um, Enjoy, and uh, I look forward to your feedback.